you teach geek stuff. Yeah. Coding, software development, and I would imagine that sheltering in place has virtually no impact on how you do your job. That is the conception that if you're working as a developer, working remotely is the same as working in an office, but it's not. There used to be a joke amongst our offices, too, that the online instructors do less work than us on-site instructors, and now I'm like, that is not true at all. It's a lot slower than on-site, because on-site, like, I can see all five people, and I can be like, okay, you and you have the same problem. You start working together. You and you are doing this thing. You work together. All right, this entire group has this issue, so let's get together in a room and have a breakout session. It's a lot easier to put people where they need to go when they're all together, but now it's much more individual troubleshooting. And even though we've tried to foster group work and tried to foster that kind of connection between the concepts that they're trying to learn, if we put them in a breakout room and Zoom together, there's nothing obligating them to work together. Sometimes they just turn their cameras off and mute, and we'll get back in there, and there'll be have been no collaboration whatsoever. It's really hyper-concentrated, all of that, in a way that I didn't realize was so simple when you're in person. Students are spending longer amounts of time on each assignment. They're nitpicking way too hard about the details of each assignment that aren't important because we're not there to be like, no, stop it. You're done with that. You've learned what you need to learn. Move forward. I know precisely what the appropriate response to what I'm about to say is. So if you have a problem with the class or the work, you just Zoom the instructor for help. And the response, of course, is, oh, you mean instructors have lives? From the second we start work, right after the lecture is done, when we start the working period of the, the class, I am blowing up with notifications every five minutes. I have a list of 20 students that I then have to check in with. And if I'm checking in with 20 students for five minutes apiece, that's like almost my entire day. It's definitely a hyper-concentrated version of the thing that I like to do. A hyper-concentrated version. Now, you and I are both burners. Yes. And for us, Intensity is a friend. Absolutely. The right kind of stress, I love it. And to a certain extent, a hyper-concentrated version of what you like to do is a blessing. It can be at times. I think when I get into a good flow with students, where I'm like bouncing between the Zoom room, solving this problem, solving that problem, seeing them get those click moments, that's extremely rewarding. And I get to do it with even more students now because it's not just my Chicago people that I'm helping. I'm also helping with our centers that are in Dallas, Tulsa, and the DC, Arlington, Tyson's Corner area. I'm seeing people and getting to know people I would never have gotten to know. And as a burner, you know that we love that too. It's kind of like speed dating. Every five minutes is a new student, a new problem. And once you finally absorb what's happening with that student, you have to shift your focus rapidly to somebody else. It's a lot of surface level connections and a lot of surface level help even though I'm a burner and that stuff is really fun, but I do miss the deeper getting to know a student from day to day, getting to know their work style that I had when it was just me and my people on site. Does your burner experience make that perhaps easier for you than some non-burner instructors? My instructors who have done theater or improv or things where they've had to like work in large groups of people are kind of flourishing right now. And those who started instructing with Coding Dojo right out of school are a little overwhelmed and having a little bit more trouble. So I don't know if it's the burns necessarily that helps, but I think it's having that experience in your life of working and relating to people where you've had to collaborate in groups and do something that was fast paced. Being on a development team, a lot of it is fast iteration interaction. And I think all of us became instructors because that's what we enjoy about it. I'm in the career that I'm in and I'm a burner because that's the kind of person that I am. Anything else you think those of us who are not online instructors might not know and or might benefit from knowing about what your work is like right now? When students have at-home distractions, you need to respect that. I, at least, am going to carry forward a lot of empathy for students who, one, don't want to talk about their situation. That's totally understandable. But two, show patterns of behavior that says that there's something outside of school that is distracting them in some way. I don't need to know what it is, but I at least should lead with that. So instead of thinking, this student's lazy, this student's not dedicated, this student's not whatever, I think my first thought now will be, this student probably has some shit going on, and I should probably be a little more forgiving about that, unless it affects their classwork.